Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where it's time to put down that skateboard and pick up your Razor Scooter because this is Razor Freestyle Scooter on the Sega Dreamcast. Yes, it is. Razor Freestyle Scooter is the opportunity to take your scooter into the fun box. That's a direct quote from the back of the packaging. At first glance, this 2001 Sega Dreamcast release may seem a lot like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. At second glance, it also seems, you know, it really is a lot like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. In fact, it's pretty much a clone, except instead of riding a skateboard, you're riding a Razor Scooter. Do they still make these things? And does anyone else find the term Funbox hilarious? Razor Scooters. You know what I want to see in a video game? The Pogo Ball. Who remembers the Pogo Ball? That thing was fun. I've never tried to ride a Razor Scooter. I can't imagine doing all of these tricks with a giant handlebar in the way. But somehow they still managed to make a video game out of this. And for that, I'll applaud them. In most respects, Razor Freestyle Scooter is almost exactly like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, except it's not nearly as good. But surprisingly, it's actually not terrible. It's uh, quite familiar if you've ever played Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Pull off tricks for big points, grind everything in sight, and explore the levels collecting all of the stuff. The controls are pretty much the same, and the game doesn't even look that bad. The problem here is that if you've played Tony Hawk Pro Skater on the Dreamcast, you can't go backwards, and this isn't as good. Published by Crave Entertainment, whose releases are a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. They've got some good ones. This one packs numerous characters and some challenges. In fact, you have to complete the challenge levels like this to save your friends who are being held hostage by giant robots. That's a plot I can get into. I'm not so sure about the scooters, though. So, here we go. Hooray! Daryl is free! Free to enter the fun box on his scooter, but he's riding without a helmet. I would like to point that out. Razor Freestyle Scooter does not promote scooting safety. Which is a contradiction because the kid on the front of the packaging is clearly wearing a helmet. And he looks terrified. Which may have lured unsuspecting parents into buying this game for their kids, thinking it would scare them out of scooting because they would be wearing a helmet on a scooter and other people would make fun of them. But no, it's actually a gateway drug to the darkest, deepest, foul depths of skating, roller skating. Which then leads to disco and drugs. Razor's squeaky clean image is tarnished by this subterfuge. They endorse kidnapping by robots, innocent children falling from floating platforms without helmets. And scooting without elbow pads. Shameless. How about a classic game room shout out and thank you all the way to Alex from Willimantic, Connecticut. Alex, I hope that you and everyone else listening wear a helmet while scooting on your Sega Dreamcast because you never know when that controller could wildly fly out of your hands and hit you in the head. Oh! This game also has, like, three songs. I mean, really? A bigger set list would have been nice. Maybe some Rage Against the Machine, except... Well, Tony Hawk did that too. <laughs> 